I'm right on the border between India and Bangladesh, one of the most complex bits of geography in this part of the world. Have a look here and you'll see what I mean. This white pillar here marks the boundary between the two countries. The farmland on the left belongs to India. These fields on the right belong to Bangladesh. And it goes on and on. The clump of trees you see over there, Bangladesh. Go a little further and you're back in India. It's so complex, as they say, even Google Earth can't map it accurately. And one result of this incredibly tricky geography is that it's left people marooned on both sides of the border. We've now left the border behind. It's about seven or eight kilometers that way. And I've now walked into an enclave that is part of Bangladesh, but surrounded on all four sides by India. And what that meant is that the people who live here have effectively been cut off from the country that they're meant to belong to. Now, of course, this is about to merge with India, and all of them are looking forward to what that means. At the moment, it's like we live in a jungle. So after we become Indian, we want everything that a civilized society should have, such as electricity, roads, water, healthcare, and so on. Here in the village school, they're practicing singing the Indian national anthem ahead of the big day. On their chests, the children have pinned bits of paper with the words, New Indian. They're slowly gearing up to embrace their new nationality and the hopes of a brighter future.